Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and we're at Con Expo 2020 where there is something really exciting happening on the Dresda stand. It's a prototype dozer, the likes that we've never seen before. And I've found Ed, who's actually the director of sort of innovation R&D at Dresda, who's this brainchild is, is Ed and his team working very, very hard for a number of years. Ed, how long has it been in that sort of phase of bringing it into prototype stage? So totally it's been over five years that we've been working on this product and this new concept. So five years and what we started with when I talked to you earlier is we started around visibility. We didn't even start around engine or tracks or anything. Tell me about that journey. Yeah, that's right. So we wanted to fix everything that's wrong with dozers right. and visibility is a big problem with dozers. So we started with the blade, the tracks and the operator. We put the operator in the perfect spot for visibility then we recreated all the visibility requirements and forced all the components to be inside that area. So it's designed from day one to have the best visibility. Right, so that's a good point, but I've noticed two other points, and these are critical points really, guys. Visibility is all around safety, yeah? Right. But we know that the most accidents on dozers, probably 80% of accidents, are trips and slips and falls. That's and right. that's getting on the machine. I've been there myself on site, muddy tracks, very quite dangerous, really. But we've got some very blue steps, haven't we, around the corner. Tell me a little bit about that whole configuration. Yeah, so that's right. So safety is very important. Everybody else's dozers, you have to crawl onto the tracks to get into the cab. Yeah and every bulldozer operator has fallen off of it, and some of them got hurt quite bad. Yeah. So from day one, we said no stepping on the tracks for your daily checks and for the entrance into the cab. So we designed the cab with the door on the left-hand side. We come up the back of the machine with these steps, three points of contacts, all the way up into the cab. And it's really quite easy. There's a huge door there, Ed, that you open up. So, you know, anybody of any size really can get in there nice and easily, can't they? Which is really important. Yeah, that's right. We accommodated for the, the largest people to get in and out of the machine. And then what the biggest thing about dozers is, and we don't see it here at the front of the Dredster, is the fan, you know, and the fan and the cooling system, very important on a dozer. But most of the traditional dozers have it on the front, don't they? Yeah. Where that, have you put it? It's in the back. It's in the back, folks. And it's massive, isn't Yes, it? that's right. So the rear frame is much wider than the front. When you put the cooling system at the front, it has to fit inside the dozer push frame, which is very narrow. So you can't have a large surface area, and it's not a square. It's about twice as high as it is wide. Yeah. And you're trying to pull that air with a round fan, so your distribution is not good. So we made a huge surface area cooling system in the back, very large diameter fan, hydraulically driven, reversible, yep. easy to clean out, and we pull the air from the back, which is the cleanest, coolest air around the dozer. Yeah, you say clean, cool air because that's really important as well, because dozer applications, what does it do? It pushes a lot of dirt, whether it's in a really, really nasty, horrible English winter weather, but or we're in Las Vegas here, there's a load of dust around here when the sun gets up. So that's going to be sucked straight into that fan, isn't it? Whereas the back, it's just not going to happen, is it? Yeah, that's right. So we bring the cooler in the back, and then at the front, we push the air out. So we're actually pushing that dust created by the dozer away from it, where traditional dozers pull in around the track. So they're basically a vacuum cleaner pulling the dust in. So that's the key points of the Dresser. Obviously, we've got an engine, we've got the tracks and everything like that. We've got a big attachment and the power of this machine allows us to have rippers on the back of it. You've got blade configurations coming. It's a prototype, guys, but my God, you take a look at it now. It doesn't look like a prototype to me. So how can people get their hands on this and when is this going from proto to real? So about a year from now, we'll be in production with this. You'll be able to buy it in North America. If you're interested, come to our booth, get in the cab, have a look at it, but make sure you get your name tag scanned. We'll tag you with the TD-16 in, and we'll get you the information. We'll contact you when we're ready to demo and sell it. Right, so that's really important, folks. This is coming. It's not far away. 
We want to get hands on with this, get the contact the guys at Dresster, but also think about it when you're next going on your dozer and saying, oh my goodness, I might slip and trip. Think about the blue steps, everyone, because that is a really big thing for me. Health and safety, massively important. Life-changing injuries that can happen on these sort of things and work sites. Just not going to happen, is it? Nope. Three points of contact. Fabulous. Listen, thanks, Ed. For set. Thanks for bringing the sun as yeah. well. And the sun's shining on Dresden today, folks. So have a fantastic look at this machine and all of the extra full of footage we're going to put in this video. Contact the guys from their website and literally think about how you could change your site with a Dresden dozer. Great. Thanks very much. Thank you.